Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy on Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In my previous video session, I discussed about the free text searching and in this current video, I will talk about bulk deletion. So in earlier sessions, we, we already discussed about how to delete records one by one and now I will talk about how to delete multiple records through the checkbox. So instead of the serial number I will place here checkboxes and the user can check the records which will be deleted so let's begin from the code here we have this listing this is our contact listing and above that we have got this search form I organize this search form through the table and I align this at the right hand side this is right hand side aligned here and this is how I organized here and below that I'm going to add one form I'm going to add one HTML form here it's a simple HTML form I'm not using here a spring form just a moment let me arrange this I'm going to close this form after this okay so this is the form I'm closing after the table so after the grid I'm closing this form and the action will be let me change the action the action is spring URL and I'm going to use this inline pattern to create the URL and the value will be slash user slash bulk C delete C stands for contact and delete and this is your bulk right so user bulk contact delete will be the action let me arrange properly okay this is fine and uh, I'm going to add one button here so this is a button it's a submit button by default so this is your delete checked or you can say this delete selected records okay right and you can add a line break simply you can see this button okay this is ready so we have got this button delete selected records and now it's time to add here serial number uh, now it's time to add here check boxes instead of the serial number so I'm going to add here this select and this first column I will use for checkbox this is all fine here I'm going to use checkbox so this will be checkbox will be your input type is checkbox and the name of the checkbox will be CID I'm using common name for all the checkboxes CID stands for contact ID and the value will be the value will be dynamically generated through the loop and this is the ID I'm going to replace here okay this is fine so all the checkbox will have common name but their value will be different so the checkbox is generated here you can check this refresh the page yes we have got a checkbox here this is correct you have to check the record uh, records here and then you have to press delete right so this is your bulk deletion operation and now it's time to go to the action I'm going to align this align center okay I got this properly so you have to check these values and then press delete right now let's try to submit this form when you submit this form action is called here bulk C delete 
so there is no such action present right now but important thing you can see here CID equals to this one this is very important let me explain this just a minute this is very important so for all the contact IDs for all the CIDs you will get here different values this is very important so this is your CID 3 this is CID 4, CID 5, CID 6 so multiple values are bind with the common name so this is common name used to bind multiple values it is very important so this will be read internally from the controller so look at this how we can do this go to the controller this is my contact controller and we have got the delete operation earlier so this is one by one deletion I am going to copy this action and delete contact I am going to change this delete bulk contact right so delete the action is something different this is bulk C delete it's correct this is the URL I'm using bulk C delete and this time you can map this to array because multiple values are mapped multiple values are bind to this common ID so this time this C ID will be your array and I can change this to contact IDs this is better because multiple IDs will be present here and now you can pass this to a method do we have a method to do the deletion so look at this this is the method we have in our service to delete multiple contact so here we have to pass multiple contact IDs through the array and all, and then the implementation of this method will take care of the deletion so you can check the implementation here look at this implementation the code is already present for deletion so you just have to invoke this code here so this is IDs pass this deletion will be done and then after deletion you will be redirected to the contact list so this is ready so it's done let me try this go back and refresh the page I'm going to delete here last two records delete last two records and just delete okay contact deleted successfully look at this we have got we have only two records remaining here because two records we have deleted from the previous action right we can add here some sample record just a minute we can add here some sample records for testing I'm going to add some sample records here some sample data I'm preparing here add few more sample contacts okay save this I want to delete these two again just delete yes I got the operation the contact deleted successfully and we have only two records remaining so this is the way you can implement the delete operation right and you just have to understand this philosophy multiple IDs multiple values can be bind to a single parameter name and the values are internally accessible through the array form so this is actually mapped here so all the all the values bind to CID parameter will be accessible through the array like this right it's very simple to work with the spring framework a lot of things are simplified here so I think this is enough for this discussion and uh, if you have any difficulty regarding this discussion you can ask in comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates thank you very much for watching and see you in next video